fail. Every single time. I give, 11, I give something like this. People try to graph the angle, and they say, well, I could break it up into thirds. And if that's one third, that's two thirds, that's three thirds, why don't I just continue going all the way up to 11, right? Yep, and that's what people do. They'll break the bottom up and they'll say one pi, two pi, three pi, four pi, and they just keep on adding up there. But again, guys, think of coterminal angles. Think of coterminal angles. If you can remove a revolution of a circle, it's not changing the, it's not changing the terminal side of the angle, right? It's still gonna have the same initial and terminal side. So what I can do is I can rewrite the sine of 11 pi over 3. I'm sorry. I can rewrite 11 pi over 3 in terms of its coterminal angle. So what would be a revolution in terms of all the way around circles 2 pi, but in thirds would be what R fraction? Close. 6 pi over 3. 6 pi over 3, but then plus 5 pi over 3. Right? So this is just a circle. This is just a revolution around the circle, right? Just one of those extra revolutions. So it's not changing the initial and terminal side. So what I'm trying to tell you is sine of 5 pi over 3 and the sine of 11 pi over 3, or 11 pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3 are coterminal. They have the same initial and terminal sides. Same initial and terminal sides. Is it much easier to find 5 pi over 3? Well, you got to think, 5 pi over 3 would be 1 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, 5 pi. Okay, now to understand this, how to solve these, here's what you're supposed to do with your substitute and what we did. So here's your angle. We need to identify what the coterminal angle is. How far is it back to the x-axis? So if this is 5 pi over 3 and all the way around is 6 pi over 3, how far is that? Pi over 3. So I'd say theta prime is 5 pi <coughs> over 3. That is my reference angle. Why is reference angle, I'm sorry, pi over 3. That is my reference angle. Why are reference angles so important? Because now what you can do is take your reference angle and go back to your unit circle that you per that first quadrant, and you say pi over 3, right there, right? And what are we trying to find? We're trying to find the sine, which represents which coordinate of on, the, on my circle for sine, x or y? Y. So what is the Y coordinate here? Three. Square root of 3 over 2. However, where did this angle fall in which quadrant? Fourth. fourth. What is negative in the fourth quadrant? The Y coordinate is negative in the fourth quadrant. So therefore, I need to go back to my answer and make sure that this is negative. 